Up and down riverbanks, up and down ladders. It is all in a day's work for Harry Wren and Ian McLean. The men are volunteers with the Fort White Alive Wood Duck Project, and they're working hard to get these wood duck boxes along the river cleaned out and fixed up before the ducks come back to mate this spring. We open them up, we t look inside, take out the old uh, shavings that were there for nesting last year. We count, do a survey of the eggs, how many hatch, how many unhatch. Fort White Alive launched this wood duck project in the 1970s when the wood duck population was critically low across North America thanks to overhunting and a changing ecosystem. These special boxes were installed on trees along the banks of the Red and Cinnaboyne rivers across the city so the ducks would have somewhere safe to nest. The wildlife manager at Fort White Alive says the plan worked perfectly and the wood ducks are thriving. The beauty of wood ducks and well, most waterfowl is the young ducks return the following spring to nest where they learned how to fly. All right. So uh, what these people did is they also got their hands on a bunch of baby wood ducks and hatched them, released them along the Red and Assiniboine rivers and put up these nesting boxes. So the following spring, these ducks would have come back and nested in the boxes. And they, they did. If you look inside, you'll, it's just a normal box, except for here, you'll see, see there's a wire mesh. And this is to help the baby wood ducks climb out of the box. The wood duck boxes are quite simple. They have an oval hole for the ducks to crawl in and out of, small enough to keep most predators out. The volunteers replace old wood duck boxes that have fallen into repair and they fill up all of the boxes with new shavings so the ducks can nest as soon as they arrive back after winter. On this particular outing, Harry Wren was surprised to find the remains of a couple of baby ducks that never made it out of one of the boxes this past winter, something that happens quite rarely. Now, there was uh, sometimes the, the eggs hatch, but the ducks, for some reason, the baby ducks don't leave the nest and they'll perish because they, they don't get any food. And so probably what has happened is some of the ducks made it out and some didn't. Uh, more up, very seldom do I find dead hatched ducks in a wood duck box. I tend to find unhatched eggs or uh, even squirrels. The volunteers catalog what they find in the boxes, counting eggshells to give the folks at Fort White a good idea of population numbers. The reason they have to do that is because wood ducks are somewhat elusive, doing most of their business right at dawn before many humans are up and about to see them. Uh, they're very secretive ducks and they, they like shady little quiet riverbanks and ponds and stuff. They're not like a mallard that you'll see in the ditch along the highway. Although the volunteer program is basically finished for this year, Fort White Alive is always looking for volunteers for next year. And anyone living near a waterway, even a man-made body of water, can become part of the program as long as they have a tree six inches in diameter and at least 20 feet tall where a wood duck box can be installed. Call Fort White Alive for more info on getting into the program. For Shaw TV's Go Winnipeg, I'm Kim Babbage.